Hey friends, it's Michelle with Garden Jargon and Happy New Year. It's been a minute since I've actually made a video and I thought today would be a perfect opportunity to jump right in to the new year. Today is January 5th and I am um, helping my sister hang a shelf in her bedroom so that she can hang her macrames above her um, window. That is my sister's house right there and that's her bedroom. So she wants to hang a shelf above that window and above that window and um, have hanging macrames. So I told her I would do that for her. So I showed her some pictures yesterday of, um, I don't know what they're called. It's like um, pipes, gas pipes, gas lines, pipes, I don't know, tubes. I don't know what they're called. But I told her I would get them for her and then hang the shelf. So I'm going to make a video as I'm doing this. So I just went to Home Depot and I picked up some supplies. And I wanted to share with you the supplies that I got. So let me flip the camera around and show you. All right. So here are the supplies that I got. Um, these are caps. And these are tubes. And then these are the flanges. Um, I had to get five of these because three are going to go over the big window that's up there, that big window that'll have three of these pipes coming out and that'll have two. So two for one shelf. And then these are the screws and um, those are three inch, no, two and a half inch screws. I spray painted them so that when they are actually through those holes, you will not be able to see them. I already put the caps on these and spray painted them, put them on nice and tight. Not that it matters, they're not gonna rattle off. And then um, I just spray painted them with this Rust-Oleum. Um, it's got a hammered look to it, so it's a little bit textured. I don't know if that's gonna show up on there or not. It's above her window. I just wanted it um, black, but I did not really want it glossy, but I didn't want it flat either. So that's the color that I chose. Um, and then I also did the screws. You can kind of see the ends are all nice and spray painted so that they do not show that chromey color um, through these black flanges. So that is what I'm spray painting right now. That's that part of the supplies. The next set of supplies that I have is these shelves. Um, these shelves are this that particle board um, and I actually found it in the trash. It was a whole black bookshelf. So I literally ripped it apart and took the shelf part pieces off. It had no water damage to it. You would know because this stuff would be bowed up. And there was no damage to them. And one of the windows that my sister has up there in her house is six feet wide and I believe these are six feet wide. I also measured from that part of the inside of the cap all the way back to where it goes into the flange and it's eight and a half inches and it'll give me like a quarter inch wiggle room. So what I'm gonna have to do is measure from the good side which is this side, measure from this side in um, eight and a half inches and then rip this board all the way down the length of the board. That way I will have the board um, as wide as I need it for these tubes. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that out and rip these boards now while I still have a little bit of light. I brought my clamps so that I can Clamp one of the um, shelves on top of the other so I can have a nice clean straight line. And then I'll have to go upstairs and measure. I believe th that window obviously is smaller than this one. This one's six feet and I believe that one's exactly three feet, but I might need it a little bit wider on that smaller window. And then I'll know how long to cut these boards. All right. So these are the hanging supplies that I got because I'm not sure if I mentioned at the very beginning of this video, but the shelves that are going above these windows up here in my sister's room um, will be a shelf up at the top of the window and then 
under the shelf she wants some um, macrames to hang down in front of her window so she wants like five macrames in front of this window and maybe two or three in this window so that she can hang some um, plants well being that this is just particle board it's not going to be very stable and um, sturdy it's going to be very brittle um, for something like this um, just to have one small little screw inside this wood I'm fearful it would probably pull out um, there's not really a lot of weight in these macrame and the and the flower pots that she's hanging because they're not very big so I also have some different options here we can actually use these I could drill a hole in the space where I want to um, hang that macrame and then use these bolts um, and then that way she'll have hook and eyes under here so that she can use an S clip or an S hook to put that through there and then hang her macrames from that um, I got these that are a little um, longer because I didn't know how deep this shelf was um, this might be a little too much now you can see that there's holes on this side of the shelf this is the side of the shelf that's gonna face the ceiling because nobody's gonna be able to see on top of these shelves anyway and um, if these nuts and bolts are on top of the shelf it doesn't really matter because she has really no design to put anything on top of these other than just some knick-knack stuff so even if there's a little half inch of a nut coming above this shelf it's not going to really affect her design um, she'll figure out how to put stuff on top of the shelf around the nuts so i did get a couple different options here even with these i wanted some type of washer um, so that it just can hold sturdier and not maybe get wet or dribble through or something like that so that's why i got all these options from Home Depot so that I can actually see which one I'm going to use and then I can return the things that I don't use. All right, so we're losing light. So I pulled my car in. <laughs> so I have my um, level clamped off here so that I can get this cut that nice and straight um, all the way down the board here um, with my power saw, my little skill saw. So I'm going to go ahead and rip this board all the way down and I'm going to do that on both boards um, and I measured from the good side this way um, eight and a half inches so it can fit on this shelf right here okay so I ripped these boards a half and eight and a half inches wide oh nice paint <laughs> um, so I ripped them eight and a half inches wide on both of them this is three feet and this is six feet so I'm gonna go ahead and take those inside have all my spray painted pieces they're all dry now my screws are dry the poles are dry so I'm gonna get those inside and then I will show you what I'm gonna do in there okay so now I'm inside Mickey is barking and I'm in the process of hanging the poles up on the top of her um, window so I want to just show you what that looks like from this view you cannot see but that's the garage I was at outside looking up at these windows but this is the six foot window here widen that view and I have our supplies here and I am screwing these into um, the wall Thank God I have a very smart carpenter neighbor, Randy. Thank you, Randy, um, for telling me that up here above the windows is a header, which is usually like a 10 by 12 or something. So the two and a half inch screws that I'm using are actually going right through this, um, whatever the heck it's called, I forget. And um, my screws are here. You can barely see them because I spray painted them. But they're going right into a solid um, piece of wood behind here. So these actually, I mean, you can probably hang a swing on these because it's very sturdy. These are not coming down at all. So there's that one, this one, and this one. Thank God 
I ran home and got my impact driver because I wouldn't have been able to do it with a regular screwdriver. That's how I knew um, that there was a header in there. I didn't know what I was going to use. I thought I was going to have to use anchors. But um, Randy told me that above every window is usually a header. So thank God. Now I know because I did not know that before. And then I also took my level and I made sure that the first two that I installed were level. Pretty dang close. So I'm happy about that. Um, and now all I have to do is grab one of these widen that angle out for you stick it right in there looks way longer than 10 inches on the wide angle doesn't it righty tendy lefty loosey there we go and there we go that's nice and solid. Again, this was eight and a half inches on all three of those. And then what I'm gonna do is hang the shelf up there. So let me put you on pause and put it up there. She is hung by the chimney with care. See? So remember I had mentioned the holes? Well, they're on this side. I'm not sure if you can see them. Oh yeah. Obviously I'll dust this off and everything, make it nice. But that is the top of the shelf. Nobody's gonna be able to see that. Everybody will be able to see underneath here. And then my sister's set of macrames that she has here that she wants to hang some of her plants on, and then she has more downstairs as well. So this whole window will be full of macrames hung from here. And this is, this is why I got the hooks, because I want the hooks to go into here, at least five of them across that window. So hopefully there'll be one in the middle and then two on each side, or maybe just three. I'm gonna leave that up to her. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do exactly that with two poles above this window and give her the little shelf right there. So she can have another shelf there and maybe two macrames hanging there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, shelf number two, finished. Shelf number one, finished. Ta-da, see how cool? And then I will let her figure out what hardware we're gonna use up here so that we can hang her macrames. Some of them have a hook like this, some of them just have the rope and um, they're gonna be hanging down from the shelf to pull down the weight of the shelf and um, they're gonna look really cute on her new little shelves. And then she loves books. She might put some books up there, or maybe a plant that hangs down um, and grows down like that, like a fatos or something. So that's what I wanted to show you. So I will follow up with another video of what we use as the hooks for this thing. And um, I'll include you in that video. So thanks so much for hanging out with me again. Stay tuned as I show you how we do the hooks um, for her new shelves. Love you, Brandy. All right, so now we are ready to hang whatever hardware we need on the shelf to hang the macrames. She's got one of the macrames right there, ready to go. And she's picked out her other ones here. So she's decided to put four macrames on this shelf and then one macrame on that shelf. So we're going to figure out what hardware to use, which we have these options. These will probably be ruled out because they're too thick. These are a good option, but I think 
these hooks are going to be okay because I don't think the weight of these is going to be too heavy as well as that shelving board is not going to get wet to compromise the integrity of the wood when you put the hook in there. So I might pilot drill a tiny hole to start a hole for these hooks to stick these hooks in and I think that's what we're going to go with. I also got these S hooks to use in case we use these and washers if we use these and did a pilot hole all the way through the wood to use with the nut and the washer on the top of the shelf but I think we're going to opt out of these. So I'm going to play around with this hardware and see what we get. So what I decided to go with was the black hooks. So I needed to mark the wood so I knew where to put the pilot holes so we can screw the hooks into the wood. Um, did a little costume change because it's always hot in my sister's house. And we went with the screws um, with the hooks on the end and then I had to tighten them with a plier because I made the pilot hole smaller than the actual screw on the end of the hooks. All right, so you saw me marking with little pieces of tape on the shelf where our placement would be for the hooks. So what I am doing now is using these hooks. <laughs> it's not going to focus. These hooks with my drill and how I measure it to give a pilot hole with the drill bit and the screw hook like this is I just make sure that the drill bit is smaller than the hook. As you can see, it is. Oh, it just got out of focus. Let's try again. You need to be an octopus to operate a camera in these parts. Let's try, come on. It's just a little bit smaller than the hook. See? So I put a hole all the way through on the board and then when you screw the um, hook in it is really tight and it's it's using the teeth of this hook in order to put it into that um, board for the hooks. <clears throat> all right we are done we are done we are done Princess Brandy is happy <laughs> she's over there chuckling so we did we put a pilot hole in and then we put the hook and they are in there good because i had to use a plier to grip it and screw it in tighter because i could not do it with my hand which is a good sign because that wood is nice and hard and nothing's gonna pull that out of there and did those four on that shelf as you can see And then this one is over here on that shelf. Just like that. She's got that one to contend with when she gets out of bed every day. Mm. <laughs> so she, she might be moving them around a little bit. But I got them done. So now I'm going to take home some extra macamaze and hang them on my ladder in my little sunny area at home. But I'm glad I got that done. Nice little project for you people because I've been MIA for the longest time ever. But uh, there you go. That's how I hung those shelves and put up some macrame hooks so we can have some green hinge here in my sister's bedroom. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have not yet already, please consider subscribing to my channel, Garden Jargon, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.